Okay, in this video, we're going to call, we're going to look at something called the concurrency of medians. And we're going to be looking at <clears throat> three definitions in here. We're going to be looking at the definition of a median. Okay, so let me write that down. So what is a median? We're going to talk about what is a centroid. And we're going to talk about what is a midpoint. Okay, so those are our three definitions that will be part of this explanation. So the median of a triangle is basically the line that goes from one of the vertex vertices to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, so actually let me just put some labels here that might make this a little bit easier to describe. We'll call this a B, we'll call that C, and we'll call this one D. <clears throat> so the median of this particular triangle is line segment BD. And what line segment BD does is that it puts this line segment here, it creates two equal halves. So that line segment AD is at basically equal to line segment CD. Okay. And the median in this particular case is uh, BD. Okay. So let's just start writing some of these medians. There we go. BD is a median. All right. Now we also have this one here. And line segment, and we're going to have to give this another letter over here. So let's go to E. So line segment AE is also a median. Okay. And what line segment AE does is that it cuts line segment BC into two equal parts as well. All right. So another median here would be AE. And again, this BE, line segment BE is equal to line segment CE. And actually, let's just do this over here. So AD, we said was equal to CD, okay, line segments. And I guess I'll put this down here. So line segment BE is equal to line segment CE. And finally, Let's do one more. Again, we go from this vertex to the midpoint here. Okay. And let's go ahead and label this as F. So our third particular median in this triangle is line segment CF. Okay. And again, it cuts line segment AB into two equal portions, and we'll just do three slashes there so that we know that those are three. Okay, and that would be AF. Line segment AF is equal to line segment BF. Okay, so we've got three medians, and you'll notice that the three medians come together in one point, and that point is our second definition, and actually our third definition, right? Because we already talked about what the midpoint is. It's halfway between the two lines. But that point is called the centroid. Now, what's important about the centroid? Um, call this one P. Okay? Now, the centroid is interesting because um, uh, it's, it's a point of concurrency, okay? So we know that it is a point of concurrency. Hence the concurrency of medians. And what are some other characteristics of this point? Huh? Um, basically that point is two thirds of the distance from each of the vertices to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, So it's two thirds of the distance from here to here. All right, so the 
centroid is two-thirds the distance on each of those particular medians. Okay, so for example, point P is two-thirds the distance from AE. All right, so we know then that AP, line segment AP, is two-thirds and P, line segment PE, Okay, so this would be two-thirds, this would be one-third. Same thing here, right? That CP, line segment CP, is two-thirds or twice as large as line segment PF. So again, you'll notice that this little part here is one-half the distance of here. Or their way of looking at it is this is twice as large as that. This line segment is twice as large as that, and BP is twice as large as PD. Okay? And notice that I'm just adding them up to make it equal to one, but you really didn't have to do it that way. Okay? And that's called the centroid. I hope that was helpful.